What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here again with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing a game called School Bus Simulator Denbury East, owned by Phoenix Transportation Services. Um, I don't believe I've ever reviewed this game, I just checked out their group, it seems legit. Uh, I do recognize the owner, um, and so yeah, I think we're just going to do a quick route in this game. Um, yeah, uh... Yeah, no, so I recognize these developers. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I've never seen this game before, and it looks like it was just created late last year. Let me just double check to see. Yeah, it created the 22nd of December last year. Uh, so it's fairly new, um, which explains why I haven't seen it. Uh, so here's a look at the lot here. It looks like there's some sort of training area over there, uh, which is really cool. I know Modern tried to implement that in their um, Warren bus company map as well I think that's pretty cool having kind of a training center and your main game and all in the same game you know um, as far as buses go I'm not too sure what buses are in this game uh, it says all buses in this game are in beta and are not the final product so you've got a FS65 C2 IC um, ICCE uh, 2015 Bluebird Vision Propane, and then upcoming you have 2020 Bluebird Vision Propane, 2012 D3RE, and a 2018 T3RE CNG. Um, let's see, what did I just spawn in? It looks like a Vision. I believe it's the Propane. Yes, it is. Well, that's what we're going to drive today. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of spec this is. Um, it says Danbury East, so I don't know where that could be. Um, hmm. If any of you might, oh, let me check and see. It could be on here somewhere. Phoenix Transportation Service. Uh, yeah, I don't know what spec this is. Oh, wait. It's in a different language. Well, it's got different languages on it. Take a look at the bus here. Hatches work perfectly. Let's see, does the back door open? I don't believe so. No. Uh, no emergency exits, or doors, I don't think. Let me just double check, no. Yeah, no. None on the vision. Looks like we have working gauges. Very beautiful, I love that. Let's test out the lights, lights look great. Ambers and reds look fabulous. The buses are definitely top notch for sure. Nothing new with uh, modern's work. Um, I don't know about the other developer. I do recognize their name throughout the bus community, but I do know modern, uh, and I know that the buses they work with are really, really good. Um, so. Let's see, it looks like we're going to need propane. Uh, I don't know where you fill up at. Uh, yeah, no, I have no idea where you fill up. Uh, hmm. So obviously the bus is going to be pretty quiet. Uh, maybe we won't need, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I want to check out the... Uh, the schools, how they were built, um, and stuff like that, along with the map. Uh, it looks like snow is still falling here. I wish I knew the spec. Maybe it's in the description somewhere. Let me check. Oh, British Columbia. Interesting. British Columbia. Hmm. Very interesting. I like that. So, if any of you are playing this game, you'll notice at the top of the screen it says to despawn your bus before you leave the server. So, I'm assuming they don't have, uh, like, kind of a despawning system. So, do keep that in mind. At least when you're playing this version of the game, be sure to despawn your bus. So, it doesn't create lag for the next players coming in. Uh, usually, the server is shut down when no one's playing, but... Always be courteous to the rules.
Oh my god, the parking brake release was amazing. That sounded awesome. As far as the map goes, it looks like the... Is this the high school right here, or is this... I can't tell. Uh, is that the high school? I don't know. We're going to pull in there, though. Uh, we're not going to drop off there. We're just going to check it out. Okay. So it looks... Uh, I think it is the high school. Yep, it is the high school. It's always nice to not have repeated um, schools and different games, you know what I mean? Uh, I think each bus simulator should have a different school. Uh, I don't recognize this build from anywhere, so it looks like they might have built this one strictly for this game. If they did, I do find that appealing. I do like that. Uh, I will say it is a bit scaled. Uh, it looks a little small, wouldn't you say, compared to the bus? I don't know. It's, it's still school, though, so... Pretty cool. Not bad. You got a lot of open areas here. Would make great spots for like a lake or a pond and stuff like that. Maybe like a golf course or something. You never know. Just giving ideas. So yeah, I've never heard of Phoenix Transportation Services. I don't know if it's a new group. Uh, I should probably read the description of the group as well. We'll see. Is that a broom? It looks like a broom. Behind my seat. Yeah, it is. No, it's a seatbelt. I thought this was a broom. Oh my god. Blue seatbelt. Interesting. Let me check out the group real quick. See who was founded by. Founded and opened in December of 2020. Okay, so it's real new. It's almost got a thousand members, which is really good. Might have to check this group out. I don't know. Never heard of it at all. Uh, let's go check out the ES. Um, I don't know where the MS is. What is this? Oh, okay. Wait. The MS is over there. Okay, got it. Come on, bus. Get a move on it. Also, I don't think I mentioned this in my other video, but I did get some news on Brawly. Um, I know a lot of you guys enjoy that company, uh, which kind of drifted from the school bus scene. Um, I was told that they'll be getting a, uh, I'll have to read the DM real quick here in a second. I don't really remember what the owner told me. I gotta pull it up here. Let me, uh, make a stop real quick and I'll pull it up. Okay. Okay, let me find it here. It's right here. Um, I've been wanting to update you about the future of Brawly. Brawly is currently still under construction, but sometime in March, most likely at the end, the group will be available to the public with a brand new logo rebrand, which is very cool. Map, the map will probably still be under development, but I want to give you a small update. So, yeah, that sounds good. So, if all of you that were interested in Brawly wonder what's going on, that's basically what's happening. It's been going to be getting a rebrand, apparently, um, and I'll be sure to kind of review that when that comes out, because um, I, for one, actually enjoyed Brawly. Um, I don't know what they were going with, with that whole little school scene or something like that. I know they changed courses with something like that, because I was in their Discord server and it was getting a change or something. Um, where did that ES go? There it is over there. 
This is a very beautiful map. The road layouts are great. I am a fan of these road layouts for sure. Um, so many housings, which is great. Uh, which way should I go? Let's see if I press, if I turn the lights on. Okay. Never mind. ES appears to be over there. We're going to go check that out. Seems to be pretty small from here. Oh, we got some construction, it looks like. I don't know if I was supposed to enter that way. Interesting. <laughs> oh my god. And then we'll check out the MS over there. Um, and then I'll just give my review on the game. That's basically what I'm doing. All these games that I've never played, essentially my first time playing them and recording them is usually a review, so... This is cool. I like this. It's got like the little overhang um, kind of pavilion type thing where you drop off and then it's got a huge bus loop. Very cool. Now I meant to look and see what this company, how many games they own. Let me check real quick. They own two games. One is a sales game where you can buy stuff I'm pretty sure like bus parts and stuff like that. So I think this is kind of their main game so far. But I will link the group and the game in the description down below. Mind you, I wasn't even told to review this game or anything like that. I'm just giving out. I'm literally advertising for free. I just saw this game uh, on my recommended. Uh, and I was like, I've never seen this game before. So I checked it out. And I'm basically advertising you guys' as groups and games for free. <laughs> Somebody asked me one time, they said, can you review my game? I'll, uh, what's your price? I was like, I do this stuff for free. And he was like, wow, I'm surprised. So, I mean, it is what it is. We're going to do one more stop here. And then we're going to drop off at this middle school. Now, I keep being reminded no reds at schools um i do know that in most places that is kind of a law or whatever um back in tennessee we didn't we de we deployed our reds at schools all the time no matter if it was dropping off or picking actually no picking up you never opened your reds because you'd be parked that's right yeah and then they'd get on the bus um but when you're dropping off they would always um, uh, deploy the reds. Here is the middle school. Very plain looking schools, but, you know, they're not the worst, obviously. Oh, let me not do that. And there we go. We're just going to finish dropping off and then head back to base and wrap up the video. I like the game. I do. Um, very early development, as I said. It just kind of came out like four months ago almost. Um, not bad. I don't know how often they're developing uh, this game. Let me check. It was last updated 14 days ago. So there you have it. Um, official side projects. What are they working on on the side? Please let this be a normal field trip. Clayton County, Ohio? Interesting. Might have to check that out, too. Hmm. Interesting. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Now we go. I probably should have kept my lights on throughout this video. For safety precautions. Also, I don't know how to turn the fog light on. I don't even know if it works. This is cool, though. Oh, I forgot to take a screenshot. My bad. Let me... Um, I like to have the most detail in my screenshots, so I want to park up by like a tree or something and take a screenshot. 
let's see, preferably without any UI in the way. <laughs> let's see, something like this. Something like this, yeah. There we go. Wait, was my cursor in the way? I don't know if your cursor gets in the way or not. There we go. Okay, let's go. That'll work. Or something like this too. Actually, wait. Yeah, like this. Hold on. Let me... Bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to get a valid screenshot. Okay. There we go. That'll do. That'll work. Come on. Oh, boy. I don't know. Did I screw myself? Um... Not sure what I'm stuck on. Interesting. Alright. What kind of plate we got here? It just says British Columbia. Oh, is this a beautiful British Columbia? Interesting. So we're going to pull back into the lot here. This would be a good screenshot area too. Actually, this might be a better one. Whoa. Nah, we're good. Ah, that would have been a good one, but the high school UI is in the way. Okay, is there somebody else in the game? There is. Nice. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and park back up. So there's one of the C2s right there. Pretty nice. What bus number was this? 143. 143 right there. Here we go. Backing it on in. Oh, boy. Nice. And we turn off the lights. Child check. Nice. All right. So that was my sort of kind of review slash route on, um, what was the game called? I almost forgot. Danbury East, a uh, school bus simulator based out of British Columbia, which is very cool. Um, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below, along with the group. They're almost at a thousand members, um, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.